Hello everyone, this is the pain. Today I want to show you guys my uh, tire changing and oil changing kits in my uh, camel can. Okay, so here is my truck, my uh, 2009 Chevrolet Avalanche truck. All the nuts and the special socket, I put them in this tea can. You know, Chinese people like drink tea, so I have a lot of tea cans here. This is my audio filter for my truck. So here, it's all the nuts and. The 21 mil socket for my wife's forerunner. Again, I put them here in the tea can, keep them neat and tight. The oil filter for the forerunner. So this is the special tool to take the forerunner oil filter housing cap off. You do need good tool to take the oil filter housing cap off. I learned that hard way. Okay, this is my uh, all the nuts and the three three quarter of inch socket for my uh, minivan, the Dodge Grand Caravan. This is the paper oil filter, and this. It's a 24 mil socket. You need to this. You need this one to take the oil filter cap off. So here is the old school oil filter tool. I use this one to take the oil filter off my truck. This sometimes can came handy. I mean still for the first call. A quarter turn or half turn, you need a breaker bar. But after that, you put it on the impact wrench, make things faster, right? Sometimes when change my uh, tires, I see the brake pad is not good. I'm gonna use this tool to change my brake pads. Here, just some. Uh, Nut and the socket for my uh, four towers. I sold my car several years ago, but still keep all the nuts and the, the socket here just in case. Now I gotta put everything back to my uh, ammo can. Now I have everything I need for my uh, tire change and oil change. You know here in Alberta, Canada, we need two sets of tires. The summer tires and the winter tires. So basically every year I need to change my uh, winter tires and summer tires. Same time I do two oil change. This is just a little bit shy of 12 kilograms. Kind of cool, eh? 